Hi, this is Abid Hussain Malik from Abid Financials and uh, we are going to start our new series of QuickBooks Online Level 2 Exam Answers and today we shall discuss Section 1, this name Sales and Customers. There are total 5 sections in this level and each section have different questions. Section 1, Sales and Customer has 10 questions. Section 2, Expenses and Vendors has 8 questions. Section 3, Banking has 10 questions. And section 4 year end 8 questions and section 5 customer reporting has a 10 questions. There are some rules for this exam. There are two methods direct testing and standard rules and you need to get 80% marks in each section and uh, you should take the exam in one sitting and there are maximum three attempts for each section you need to pause for every section and uh, if you pause the exam then you sh shall be able to download your certificate from credly.com if you failed and uh, the exam session shall be locked for 30 days and you shall be eligible again after 30 days and you can uh, if you pass level one then you shall be able for level two exams let's uh, start our question one which report is best suited to track profitability by sub customers Four options income by customers, profit and loss by customers, customer balance, profit and loss comparison. The correct answer is option B profit and loss by customers. Question 2 In, in what ways can you add projects to projects center in QuickBooks? And, uh, there are uh, five options here. And uh, select the new button from left hand menu and choose project convert sub customers to projects in the project center convert sub customers, customers to project from customer tab in the sales center and option d create new projects in the project center and option e batch import into projects centers the correct answers are option b convert sub customers to projects option c convert sub customers to projects from customer tab option d create new projects in project center and option e batch import into project centers there are four correct answers b c d and e next question number three for a client on the plus plan which projects report provides the same detail as profit and loss by customer report filter for the project and showing all dates there are three options project profitability estimates versus actuals on build time and expenses the correct answer is option a project profitability so number four what are the benefits that progress invoicing helps to deliver there are four options creating estimates for multiple jobs, recognizing income throughout job, creating consistent cash flow, tracking progress of the job. The correct answer are option B, option C, and option D. B, C, D are the correct option. How does a price rule show up when creating an invoice? And separate line item label discount as a discount code in North Syria in a drop down list to be applied to the product services both regional price and register price are shown together the correct answer is option c in a drop down list or to be applied to the product services question number six which of the following statements about delayed charges in quickbooks is true there are four options here delayed charges are immediately recognized as income in your clients delayed charges automatically appear on customer invoice Delayed charges must be manually added to customer invoice. Delayed charges can be added to sales receipts. Correct option is option C. Delayed charges must be manually added to customer invoice before they will appear on it. Abit Financial will provide the bookkeeping services to UK, USA based clients, accounting preparation of financial statement, payroll, and taxation services. Besides this, I also provide QuickBooks Online Level 1, Level 2. Payroll, desktop, enterprise, and equipment bookkeeper certification services. I also deal with zero pro advisors, zero payroll. If you need any help, you may contact me at my WhatsApp number or you may visit my YouTube channel at Abit Financials or you may email me at info at abitfinancials.com. I have a website www.abitfinancials.com. If you want to learn uh, QuickBooks Zero and want to know about the certification exam study material and answer, you may visit my uh, YouTube channel are with financials. Question number seven Which of the following option is available when creating a price rules? Automatically adjusting a customer's credit limit, applying a specific price discount or markup to selected items, limited the price rules to invoices over a certain amount, setting price based on payment terms. The correct answer is option B applying a specific price discount or markup to selected items. Question number eight Consider the example of commercial cleaning business where real estate customers and you saw each site can be assigned as a sub customer and building at that site as a sub customer of the site. 
there are four options how much time they spend on job at each site how much they were paid for job at each site their direct expense for job at each building and how much profit they made for jobs each building the correct answer is option d how much profit they made for job each building how many sub customers can you add to each tier of hierarchy there are four options the correct answer is option d five tier how should a sub customer be set up to prepare for conversion to a project there are six option here keep any sub customers in place remove any sub customers be active make inactive build to parent selected build to parent unselected the correct options are three three options the first correct option is option b remove any sub customers and then option c be active and then option e build to parent selected your client uses the deposit feature to record customer prepayment in QuickBooks. Their customer paid a deposit of 600 and client created an invoice for 1500 worth of work. When invoice is saved and sent, where is the outstanding balance of 900 recorded? Unearned income liability account, undeposited accounts, account receivable, and the customer deposit account. The correct option is option C account receivable. What are the benefits of progress invoicing helps to deliver? Creating estimates for multiple job, recognizing income through all the job, creating consistent cash flow, tracking progress of the job. There are three correct answers. The correct answer is option B, option C, and option D. Tracking progress of the job, creating consistent cash flow, recognizing income through the job. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching my this video. Please visit my website abithfinances.com or my